In today's video, I'm going to show you how to redirect your users to any page you like, whether it's on your website or any external website as well, after they submit a form on your website. Now, just to clarify, there can be different kinds of forms that you can implement this functionality with. A regular contact form that you just create on your website. A comment is technically also a form. And also a user registration or a login form is also a form. And most of the time, or I say almost guaranteed, that for different scenarios, you'll need different methodologies. So I've covered a couple of those in this video. So I would suggest that you watch the video till the end because you might learn something new that you might not know is possible with WordPress. With that, let's discuss the first use case, which most of you guys have probably clicked for, which is how to redirect users after they fill in or submit a regular contact form on your WordPress website. Let's go. So if you want to redirect users after they fill a form on your website, you also need to have a form on your website, right? So let's start with that first. As you can see on the screen right here, I'm in the plugin section, add new section of my WordPress website. And I've just searched for the most popular firm plugin out there, which is called WP Forms. I've searched for it. This is the plugin that you see on the screen. And you should install this plugin if you already haven't do, done so. It's very, very popular. It's used by over 5 million websites and it's uh, full of functionality that you'll utilize on your website. Now, I'm not going to install this one right now because I already have the pro version installed on my site. But if you're just starting out, you can install the free version. The functionality I'm going to discuss will work with both the free version and the paid version as well so there's no difference there so once you've done this you should start seeing the w performs menu entry right here and what you'll do is create a new form so i'll just go right here click add new which brings up the form builder screen let's start with a simple contact form which is a pre-built template so we don't have to do anything just click use template and the form will be imported to your website as well so this is a simple contact form instantly created for us. It's already built in or it already has the regular fields that you'll need. It has a name, email, and a comment. But you, definitely you have the options of customizing this however you like. For example, if you want to include multiple choices here, you can actually do this right here. So you can drag and drop all these elements. And depending on the plan you have with WP Forms, you might see all these fields available or you might see just some of these fields available. Rest might be grayed out. So make your choice customize the form or however you want to design it add all the fields you like and just remove it customize it all the functionality is right here and if you want to customize the uh, properties of individual fields for example let's say you don't want the name to be mandatory just click right here go to the field options and just make all the changes right here once you've done this once you're happy with the form then we're going to make the customization changes where we'll redirect users to a particular page or post so what i'm going to do is go to the settings page right here and you have multiple options. So you have general notifications and confirmations. To redirect users to a particular page or post, we'll go to confirmations. And this is the confirmation page. And confirmations, very simple. What happens after the form is submitted? We have a couple of options that we can use. So default confirmation is a message. That means once the form is submitted, it says, thank you for contacting us. We will be in touch with you shortly. But we can change this behavior by using this drop down menu right here. Let's click it show page and go to url which is the redirect option this is the one we'll be using so once we click this we have a simple option confirmation redirect url that means what is the page you want users to go to so let's say if i say go to wpbeginner.com and add new confirmation and I can name this confirmation because every form can have multiple confirmations and I can create conditional logic using the form fields to redirect users to different pages on uh, depending on different, different conditions that they fulfill. So I'll say the basic confirmation. All right, so I'll just name this basic and this is done. And we also have some other customization options right here. We can, we can use this and we can also en enable conditional logic. For example, as I was talking uh, a few seconds earlier, if you enable this, then you can say, oh, if the form field says this, redirect this, or if the form field says this, do something else. So just for example, use this confirmation or don't use this. So you can have a positive, uh, let's say condition or a negative condition. If the field, let's say the multiple choice is first choice, and you can also have uh, nest and or on conditions. Then based on this, what you can do is if the user chooses multiple choice first, then redirect users to a different page. And if the choice is something else, you can redirect them to a different page. Now, just to clarify, this conditional logic is available in the pro version, but the basic redirection is available in the free version. Just want to highlight a cool little feature that you'll find here in WP Forms. So let me delete this. Let me disable conditional logic so that you are on the same page as I am if you're using the free version. Let's save the post or let's save the form. And what we'll do is just add this form to a post and then I'll show you how it works. All right, so just uh, let me pause the video for a second. I'll just open up a new post on the site, add the form and we'll be talking again.
So I've created a simple post on the side, just naming it redirect test. And this is the form we'll be using, or this is the page we'll be using to add the redirection or add the form first, and then the form will redirect users once they submit it. All right, so what you do you need to do to add the form on any particular page? Just use the WP forms block. So I'll type in forward slash, and I say WP forms, and the form block will show up right here. I'll click on it. And then we can select the form that we have created from the interface. So just since I just named it or the name of the form was default, which is a simple contact form, I'll click on it. And you can see it's the same uh, form that we just created. Let's publish the post. And after the for, uh, for, uh, post is published, let's open it up a new tab and check the redirection and how it works. So this is the form. This is the page on the website, redirect test. You have the, all the options right here, name, email, multiple choice options, comments, and then the submit field. Since a couple of them are mandatory, let me just fill all this information in very quickly. So I filled in the form completely, as you can see. Let's submit the form and let's see if the redirection works. Submit. And in just a second, I was redirected to wpbeginner.com as we intended. It's a very simple feature. Now you don't have to redirect users to other pages or just completely different websites. You can redirect them to any page on your website as well. It can be a thank you page. It can be okay, just any page that you like. Maybe just the home page of your website with whatever you want. So the redirection functionality completely works whether it's a page on your website or a third party website. Don't worry about that, all right? So that's the way you redirect users after they fill out a form on your website. But what about comments? I want to redirect users to a specific page when they comment on my website. Well, let's talk about that right now. So once again, I'm in the plugin installation area of my website. I'm inside plugins, add new, and I've searched for a plugin called Yoast Comment Hacks. And this is the plugin we'll be using to redirect users after they comment on our website. Let's install the plugin. Let's also activate it. So now you see the plugin is installed, but what about the settings? You don't see the settings right here, nor there's a menu entry. Well, the settings are inside, well, you guessed it, settings. So settings, comment hacks. And there are a bunch of options inside this plugin. Uh, you can limit users to leave a comment of a certain length and do all sorts of email cl cleaning and customization. But the functionality I'm trying to demonstrate here is the comment redirection feature, which is just right here. And this works with only first time commenters. So keep that in mind, not every person or uh, a repeat commenter will not be redirected, but people leaving a comment for the first time will definitely be redirected. And you can utilize this functionality to uh, ask people to get, get on your email list or like uh, push a lead magnet or something like that. And it's a great way to engage your already engaged users who are leaving a comment on your site. So how do you customize this? Redirect to, don't redirect first time commenters is the default settings. But if you click the drop down option, it says sample page. So if you have any pages created on your website, all the pages will show up here. So let's say if I go to my pages, I click add new, and let me just quickly create a page just for demonstration so that you know that, okay, it's not limited to just the sample page. Let's say, thank you. I'll just publish this. We'll go back right here. I'll, re I'll refresh this. And now you'll see the thank you page also appear here. So let's say we want to redirect users to the thank you page. And all you have to do is just save this. And once this is saved, let me just open up a post in an incognito window, and then I'll try this if this works, all right? So I've opened up the default WordPress post, hello world in an incognito window. You can see that there's no admin bar right here because this is an incognito window, I'm not logged in. And we can scroll down here and see the comment section. So this is a sample post, of course there's no content, and there's just one comment, which is again the default comment in WordPress. But let's say if I wanted to leave a comment, I'll say, redirect me this is the comment, name is, Raj, let's, let's say a random email right here. Website is blah, 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 at something, something.com. Save my name, name, let's ignore that. Let's post the comment. So as you can see, as soon as I left the comment, I'm getting an error that the comment is too short because I forgot to change the settings in the comment hacks plugin. And it has a setting where you can limit the limit or I say you can set a limit that how long or how short a comment should be to qualify it as a valid comment. So this is the uh, setting right here. Uh, it says 15, so 15 words I believe you have to write in. So what I'll do is just go back. I'll go back and I'll type in a longer comment. So I'll just hack my way out of this and I'll just paste it a few different times. And let's now try the same thing. Hopefully we don't get an error this time. And as you can see, the comment was accepted and I'm redirected to the thank you page, which we just created. So another functionality inside the uh, 
Yoast comment hacks plugin was demonstrated that you can limit users for leaving a comment which is a certain length. So you can set it a minimum length and also a maximum length. So you can spam out or let's say you can uh, filter out the spam comments using this controls as well. And that's how you redirect users who leave comments on your website, at least the first time commenters. But what about users who are trying to register on your website or trying to log into your website? How do you redirect those users? Well, for that, you need to watch this video right here. It does say how to enable registrations, but I show off how to customize registrations as well and how to also redirect users after they log into your website. So go, go check that video out. And if you're interested in easy to follow along WordPress tutorials, just like this one, also spend some more time with me face to face, then just subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, a like would be appreciated. And if you have any questions about this video, then the comment section is open. Go free. I'll answer all the comments as quickly as I can. You're watching WP Beginner and I'll catch you in the next video.